I got a feeling that trusses make a very strong bridge. That trusses make a very strong bridge. That trusses make a very strong, strong bridge. I got a feeling that trusses make a very strong bridge. That trusses make a very strong bridge. That trusses make a very strong, strong bridge. Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Poly Bridge. Now, we are on a secret quest. If we go into workshop, we click this little icon down here. Look how well hidden it is. Fair play. We unlock the Polybridge Classic World. So we basically get a whole new game inside of a game. We're currently on World 4 Ancient Ruins. We've got to do the cross jump for 11. So let's get into it. So this level looks easy enough. We got taxi on that side. That's got some fat horsepower 30 meters per second squared and it's pretty much the same thing for the camp van over there as the name implies we're gonna have to do a cross jump yeah because if we press play you can see they've yeah they got speed so camp van has to end up at that flag whereas taxi's got to end up down there so i think first off i'm actually i'm tempted to build this might be sacrilege i'm tempted to build a bridge you know like actually go the whole way across although with anchors there perhaps perhaps i'd rather do something like that i just, I just want to see for now like how much speed they actually have how far they can fly so i've just trussed that up i'm sort of thinking if i do a bit of rope to hold that up um, that might hold... Okay, maybe not. If we just make these triangles bigger, that makes our trust stronger because all the forces are being shared a bit more equally. Uh, so let's see, has that made it? Okay, ignore me. What if we come down here then and we do that? So we've added a wall brace. So essentially the force rather than... Okay, it still didn't work. <laughs> right, sod this. I'm building it out of steel. I'll keep the wall brace in as well. Oh, it still broke. Oh, come on, game. Right, the rope broke this time. Tell you what then, if I make a rope muscle... Yes, it made it. It made it. And oh, I actually made it. Okay, so that made it properly made it question is can we get the taxi to jump over because remember it's got to end up down there so it can't land on that platform and it can't hit our bridge so if we basically try and do the same poo <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, if we basically try to do the same thing, it should be fine. Yeah, unfortunately, we need to we need to tweak this a bit. So let's bring this one down and hope that that goes under. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we need to find the fine line oh, between not hitting that one, but not hitting this bridge either. So it's a little bit of tweaking until finally they just miss. And then that one makes it. And the taxi does a forward roll to make it as well. Uh, we did break and we spent just under 20 grand. All right, sod this. I'm putting a bit of road up there in an attempt to slow this taxi down. So I've got my two crappy, crappy jumps. Ooh, it, oh, no, it worked. It worked. Oh, thank goodness. Look at the max stress as well. Absolutely terrible. Let me just see what goes red. Oh, that bit of road goes very red. And I'm sort of wondering if I delete that, could I replace with there and there? Yeah, okay. So that's a cheaper way of doing that. Do I actually need these end ones? Yes, on that side. No, on that side, apparently. Now to trim this down. So I'm pretty sure I can probably get rid of that completely and replace with a wooden one. No, apparently that makes that makes this rope snap. See, things to remember during bridge building. Whatever you affect could have a negative effect on something quite far away that you wouldn't really expect. Yeah, so even making that a smaller truss is just not good. All right, and then just going around, I'm just going to try replacing everything with wood that I can. Can. Yeah, so that's looking pretty good. I could probably make them a little bit smaller, but I think that's fine. By the way, in case you're wondering what's going on there, I've got a tiny little spring there. Because uh, I noticed if this bit of road was attached, then uh, as you can see here, it completely evaporates. But uh, by putting that in, we've basically got like a little expansion joint. As the camper van goes on, there's a bit of movement. But in terms of the bridge, it's way stronger. So yeah, let's finish there. 14,500 quid. And let's have a look in the gallery to see where we place. So, oh, we're on the first page. We are on the first page. No, so the cheapest one is this. Oh, it's cheesing. Of course it's cheesing. The cheapest one without breaking is this one. DMF Chavez. Uh, how? What? So that's just super fair play. You must have the patience of a saint. Uh, just super, super efficient bridges and a perfect jump there. Uh, this one. Oh, look, look. Oh, they jump onto the top. So then there's no cross jump going on. It's just a high jump and a low jump. Let's watch that again. So you can see that gets us onto there. 
That's really clever. Fair play. You know, this person went all rope for that bridge. Uh, this one ended up costing more than mine, actually. Uh, what is that at the... What's that at the start? Does that... Oh, it slows the car down. I thought about doing that as well. That's what my droppy bit of road was for. Um, to basically try and reduce the cross jumpness. They used a bit more money to make that. How is that bridge standing up? <laughs> What is that? You've got like an underarch in ropes. So that's completely in tension and the bridge is just resting on nodes on it. That's a bit of a, a bit of an optical illusion as to how that works. Fair play. Right, let's go to the last page. My favorite page. Oh yes, we've infected this one, boys. We've infected this. It's RCE, it's me and a knob and my, my head, which you could also call a knob. But, oh, me again. <laughs> And another knob. It's just raining knobs. It's raining knobs. Hallelujah. It's raining knobs. I feel like someone's going to clip that and it's going to be taken really out of context. Anyway, fair play, wicked bridge. We've got this one by YouTube Ouija. Go check out his YouTube channel. I'm sure he's got one. Whoa, he's got RC and a massive knob and there's just knobs everywhere. Uh, nice bridge. Efficient use of engineering there. Uh, we've got this. Oh, Nifty is back. Don't forget, use code engineer to get 10% off your next Nifty order. Nifty. An engineer's favorite tea. Um, in terms of his bridge, though, he did like it. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot of bridge. Oh, there's a knob at the end as well. And then there's this one, which... What is going on at that end? Oh, he's... Uh, what? <laughs> What? What was all that? I don't really... I think this person struggled like I did, to be fair. Now, this one... I'm not building a jump. I'm building two bridges. Fair play, Spass. Now, they did slow down the camper van there just to ensure only one vehicle's on the bridge. Therefore, you can make it weaker. And we got this beautiful done. Done by the best pool ever. <laughs> Oh, they're so bendy. This guy who really loves rope because he was a gamer boy. He said, I'm using rope, boy. Um, and then this one, which looks like one of those finger traps. Like if you put a finger on either end, you're not guessing that out ever. Don't put anything else in there. Right, let's go to the next level. Oh, this is my cup of tea, this one. A steel arch bridge, this is called. So basically, we've got to get a bus over here, which weighs 8.5 polygrams over to that side. And it's, it's a very large span, to be fair. Probably the biggest one we've done so far in this game and I feel like we've got a lot of solutions as to how we can do this. I feel like most of them they're probably just going to have a straight road so let's use our line tool and then use the power of engineering to boost the road in like that. So it's a 36 meter span this um, and then I feel like we can go lots of different routes. The question will be what is the cheapest way of doing this? So First way, as it's called Steel Arch Bridge, I'm thinking we go back to Line Tool, we make it curved, and then we plop that in. That's probably too high, but sure, it'd be fine if we bring it down slightly. So I'm thinking for this, probably use steel, as it says, and I, I want to put a node basically in between each node of the road. So I'm going like there, there. Uh, like that. Now, in this game, you sort of, you want to build symmetrically. So, I'm going to delete all of that side. And next, I'm going to do another arch. And I'm going to lower this one underneath. Uh, something like that, I think. So, then I can just do trusses like that. And I'm, I'm making sure that my point is in line with the road node beneath. And then I'll get rid of the line. I'll just do this one by hand. So, I'm thinking we go down to there and then basically you just want to join all these together put some vertical cables in so basically the road is going to be dangling from our arch above and then if we copy this and mirror it we can then shove it over there boosh put the keystone or the key beam in and then we've made a bridge for 75 grand uh, it might need tweaking so let's see how we get on stress pretty high actually telling me we might need a bigger arch you can see the stress moving as it moves along actually it's completely fine We've done it. Wait, wait. No, there's no road at the end. Why is there no road at the end? Why did that bit of road explode? I think that's probably because this bridge is so big. We probably need like an expansion joint just because, yeah, I think where, where we're connected this arch to the road, I think the movement of it is doing bad things. Uh, so if I just, I don't know, I could just probably flop that on top like over there because now we're not, we're not connected. Let's just turn the stress off this time. So yeah, look, it's just, it's just flopped on top. Now, hopefully that has the strength to get over that. So over the top, nice. So 75 grand we did that for. The question is, is there a better way? So we get rid of all that. And for this time, we turn the grid on and we, we go back to trusses. Now, there's no boats on this one. So I feel like we may as well truss underneath uh, just purely because then we can use like wall braces. So if we truss like this, we can watch this with the stress on. So you can see as it gets to the middle, the stress is going up and up and the road's burst and i feel like we could probably replace 
the two end pieces with reinforced road and then see how the stress does this time. Oh, it's looking good. That stress is climbing though. It's climbing. Oh, I got to 100 and then exploded. Now, what's actually happening in terms of forces? Basically, if you think of this like a bar, as the weight comes along the middle, imagine like a finger pushing down. This bottom side is being stretched. Uh, so essentially what we've made here is a tension bridge. Um, and I haven't even, I haven't even made use of the, of the wall braces. So actually what I'm thinking of doing is just if I cut that and then shove it on top, steel should work better in compression than tension in this game. Or it might be the same. Oh, I think it's exactly the same, actually. Okay, so we got two choices. Now, I want to stay under 75 grand. The, the most obvious thing to me would be to reinforce the top, essentially. Uh, so I could literally replace that with, like, a steel muscle. Uh, may as well put wood in the middle as well. Make it a little bit smaller. So that goes up to... Oh, I just about broke. I thought we were going to make that. We may want to swap another one with a muscle there. Now, there you go. We're past the middle. We, we haven't exploded, so we're all good. I mean, we could actually make this a little bit more efficient by just bringing those end pieces down. So yeah, there you go. We've done this one for 69 grand. Nice. Uh, but can we go cheaper? So what I'm thinking, we... We get rid of all of that and we try and do a tension bridge. Now, if we go back to normal road, we might have to do everything in reinforced. But essentially, it's what we had before. Yeah, but we're going to try and use rope. Now, I'm thinking if we do an arch underneath, probably like that. And then if we just do vertical wood down to where we intersect that line, then we end up with that. And then if we rope in between these, basically we're putting all of the weight of the bridge and all the forces onto this single rope. Uh, so if we press play, it completely dies instantly. Um, so what I would do here is replace with cable, but if we add a point lower down, then we can use that. So we're putting more of the weight onto that bit. We can also probably rope that as well. Now I've made all of this road reinforced. We're still breaking instantly. So what I'm thinking actually, if I get rid of this first curve and instead truss underneath like that. All right. So now I've ended up with this. I've just put some rope muscles on top of the rope there. I wonder if, can I get rid of the, the original rope? Yeah. So there we go. We've got that. Question is, will school bus A go underwater? Yes, it will. Uh, but if we delete like those two end pieces and then rope along these up to the middle point we know that these are mainly going to be in tension so now we've just made that bit of that beam a lot stronger in the force it was breaking in so oh that was so close that was actually so close so what broke that broke okay what if i just put one bit of steel in there now you can see now these they're going not as red as before so if we get to the middle, which we have, okay, so we just replace that with that with steel. I think this should actually do it. So basically for this bridge, we've learned that putting trusses underneath, they work in tension. We know that rope is better in tension than wood and steel. So we've just tried to take advantage of that. And it looks like we've done it. We've got to the other side, 57 grand. Now I probably could spend time tweaking it, but I really want to get to the gallery. So let's see where we are. 57 grand sorted by budget. Oh no, we're on the third page. We're on the third page. Hang, hang on a second. That's my bridge. How did they get it cheaper than I did? Oh, I think rather than the rope muscles they did they did ropes further up i guess anyway whoa what is that <laughs> what is that okay so this is what i like to call a dodgy ass bridge so basically we've got this arch but if you look it's not actually like it's not secure at all the bridge underneath is hanging by wires which means it's constantly in tension which means it can't move anywhere. But uh, for example, if you were to come along and like, I don't know, load one side more than the other, then this thing is going to collapse. That is terrifying, but very cool. Fair play. Uh, similar sort of principle on this one. They've just used a lot more cables to try and keep it more secure. Decent. Yeah, but let's go to the first page and see the cheapest solution. Oh, wow. Fair play, Dusty. That is 34 grand. So this one, we we have a strong steel core of like an under, then an over arch. Uh, then we just use the small smallest trusses we can to attach everything to it. Fair play. Now, this one's pretty similar, but they tried to do the road in an arch because obviously that will give it a little bit of strength as well. Uh, it looks like basically to make the strongest bridge this time, it's it's keeping everything in compression rather than tension. Now, the cheapest tension bridge is this one, 36 grand. Uh, sort of looks like a face. Um, oh, what? Oh, I could have done that. 49 grand. So basically, you know, I put that thing in the middle uh, that the tension rope held on. If I just made that a bit lower, that reduces the forces everywhere. And looks like they've got away with not using rope muscles there, just single ropes. And therefore, 
for a lot cheaper. Fair play, clever. Now, let's go to the last page, though. My favorite page. <laughs> and let's see what we have here. Oh, man, I I feel like I've infected most of them. If we go to the page before, yeah, we've infected this page as well. Definitely infected that one. Um, Sort of abstract, but definitely infected this one. This one, we've got like the arch I did first off, but with some counterweights hanging underneath. This one, yeah, it's got my name. And then a low, oh my goodness. This one, the touching tips of Nith T. A very, very strong solution there. Actually, I'm not even lying either. Look at the max stress, 62%. That is an efficient bridge. Uh, this one, another counterweight. That's in the water to add a bit of buoyancy seat of the bridge. That's very, very clever. And this one, oh, we got a massive arch. And oh, look, RCE, oh, is that a plane falling? Oh, they're like having a dog fight. That's so cool. Is that, oh no, that's me being chased by the architects. They're shooting me down. That was really cool. Fair play. Um, I think this one sort of speaks for itself. As I said, the lower your tension goes, the more efficient it will be. <laughs> now this one, RCE and a, a knob. That's like the, the messiest truss I've ever seen. <laughs> Fair play, they right next one. We've got RC made us like this. What do you mean? I cannot take responsibility for for all the efficient engineering going on. I would love to because it's very very efficient, but I should not be. <laughs> oh god, it's spinning! It's spinning. RCE, hi, hello, Train Pro Nine, and then the final one. Oh, there's no knobs on that. One. Oh no, there is. There, there really is. <laughs> Darts boy. Right, well, that was a really, really fun level. Let's go on to the next one. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> the double dangle. I wonder what we'll see in the gallery on this one. Anyway, on this, we've got two balloons up the top. Um, we've only got eight pieces of road. We got six bits of rope. And there's no nodes down here. So if we go to that first point, I imagine will eight roads get us across completely? Yeah, so that's all of our road done. So we can't really do anything else apart from that. Now we just need to find an efficient way way of dangling. So essentially, I think we just want to truss it up as best we can and then just dangle straight down. That seems like the, the most sensible way of doing this. Whether that will be strong enough, we can see with the force how good we'll... Oh, we've actually done it. We've done it. First try. So 13,400. I could... I could make it cheaper and stuff, but let's just get straight to the gallery. We're all about the gallery here today. So, oh man, I'm nearly on the first page though. Yeah, let's have a look at the cheapest way of doing... Oh my goodness, it's a trapeze. It's a trapeze. Have you ever seen a lorry trapeze? Well, now you have. Uh, this is the cheapest non-breaking solution though. Just very, very efficient engineering. You can see they've used wooden rope there because that is cheaper than using the actual material rope. Um, so that holds the bridge up very, very nice. Now this one's quite clever as well. They've combined the two and then just got a single rope dangling down. Again, it's all wood, so very, very cheap. Uh, let's head to the last page, though. The double dangle. It's the double dangle. Now we got high RCE. Thank you. Oh, we do have the double dangle as well. <laughs> it's too detailed. You got a sense of that, editor. That one's too detailed. Now this one, it's got my name falling down and then just almost like a pyramid of trust there. Uh, we got the double dangle over a normal bridge. <laughs> <laughs> now you would think like they've just they've just been very rude there. Possibly that's the product of architecture. They're not doing anything. It's just visual. No, they're actually directional signs. So if you're on this side, you can see, oh, I need to go that way to get to where I'm going. If you're on this side, you look up there like, oh, I need to go that way to get where I'm going. <laughs> look at that. Oh, it even rolls. The left nut rolls. Uh, we've made full use of the balloons here. Very nice. And this one, we're just... <laughs> We're just dangling because we can. Right, and now we have a hydraulic level. It wouldn't be a poly bridge episode without a hydraulic level for me to struggle at. This one is 414. It's called Skipper. Um, and looking at this, I think the boat and the first taxi go. So first off, let's just build. Oh, it doesn't reach. Okay, we'll use this tool to get rowed in at an equal spacing. We're just going to go super, super cheap trusses. Actually, I wonder, can I do this like the cheese way? Right, so I think that should work. It's like a We've locked into the side. So we've spent three grand of our 16 grand budget. Oh, it holds a taxi as well. So that taxi stops there. Okay, so then we've got to get taxi C over taxi A and across this side. Now, it looks like the game sort of, it wants you, it's put a platform up there. It wants you to go up there. I feel like I'm better than that. So I think what I want to do, I sort of want to build like a ramp 
over the taxi. So I don't know how steep it will have to be for the taxi to get up, but perhaps we could do... Yeah, if we did something like that. So let's copy this over to there. We know it stops about there. So I think we want to... We want that to start and about that height. And we just want it to drop. We don't have a hydraulic controller. So I can't put joints in and just make it drop. I will have to use a hydraulic. So if I just truss that together and then... Oh, actually, maybe I can. Maybe I can. Can I just... Will that work? So that's dangling there. Taxi goes underneath and then that should drop, right? Yes, but it's facing the wrong way. <laughs> that ramp is not going to work. Yeah, I could joint it there. And then that should fall a lot better in terms of being a ramp. Ready? Boosh. There it is. Now we've just got to hope the taxi can get up there. So yeah, not not really. Right, actually, actually, better idea. Better idea. What if I just cat flap it? As long as we're that height, we should be above the taxi. So essentially, I just want to do a ramp like that. And if I trust that bit, I can hinge it there. So I want to lock that in place like that. And then I want this to start like far away. So if I cut that and then rotate... So that could probably start like there. And then I can just hydraulic it down. So we just say expand. I don't know. We'll try max for now. So we just want that to end up on that node. So they lock together. Oh, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> and then will that fit above? It drives over. Yes. Yes. Okay. Landing not great. But we're pretty much nearly there. I think I now just need to do a bridge over this that starts out the way and then the hydraulic lowers it down. So we put the road... Who, who comes up with that span? 6.25. Definitely product of architecture, this bridge. Anyway, we start with that. I think we'll... We will trust this one properly just because it's going to be... It's going to have to support itself. And then essentially, we grab the whole thing. We cut it. We rotate it to where we want it to start, which is just out the way like there. And then perhaps we can hydraulic over to that and say expand. Right, and then I might have done this. It's probably a way that you're not going to see in the gallery, but it uh, seems the easiest way to me. Oh, actually. Oh, hang on, hang on. Why didn't it lock in that time? Why did that joint not lock in this time? Lock, lock. Oh, why didn't it lock? All right, bit of tweaking. Oh, I just missed it. I'll tell you why this isn't working now. It's because I've attached something to that. It's sort of all become one structure. And I'm not going to lie, a little bit annoying. I'm going to have to use some incredible engineering and mathematics to try and work this in the right place. I'm not just trial and erroring until it does work. I'm literally, I'm doing maths and equations. Uh, Probably beyond comprehension for most of you. Um, but those in the engineering business, they will they will see clearly what I'm doing here. And they know what sort of equations I'm using. Um, perhaps even they might learn something from this. Uh, but we will get it back to a point where it locks in. Just, just be patient with me. Aha, there we go. There we go. Oh, poo, I forgot about that bit. All right, so this end, I think we're just going to... We are going to cat flap it with a bit of rope. Because I think does... Oh, no, the other car doesn't need to come out again. Okay, oh, in which case I'm, I'm sort of wondering, can I can I just get rid of that? Because then it can just it can just drive down once I've mathed this back into the right place. All right, so after lots and lots of tweaking, I mean engineering, uh, we came up with this. So I've sort of got a permanent road under there. I've had to put like a little bit in there. You'll see why. Because basically as this taxi comes and drives over, as it was flopping down, it kept doing a forward roll and then it would get stuck. Now it does just about, if you're patient, make it onto our bridge where it doesn't actually make it up. Uh, however, we can actually lower this bridge by moving that point down like, I don't know, maybe to there. Won't be as strong, but it will go further. So if we just fast forward balls. Well, what I can do instead is attach the hydraulic to that point because that's a lot further, which means we'll expand longer and that's never a bad thing. Okay, so we're much lower now, so it should drive up there easily. Damn it. I feel like everything I gained about hydraulic knowledge, I've now lost. All right, that's breaking because that is not strong enough. I have an idea though. All right, so I've made a contraption that lowers the bridge into a point there. So the road flaps down. Now it's flat and secure. That is strong. I've got steel in there. We're 15 quid under budget. Let's see how it gets up. I hate hydraulics. Actually, actually, I've just I've just had a thought. Why am I why am I hydraulicking this end? Delete all that and then we'll just go from here like over to there, right? Why why haven't I been doing oh why haven't I been doing this? All right, so we've just made that now, which means as this comes up there, all we've done, we've just made a flap. So that goes across and then it should drop down if it's strong enough. Oh, so close. All right, we're on 12 grand. Sod I literally I've been doing this for so long. It's embarrassing now. <laughs> so I'm just 
literally gonna I'm gonna muscle over to there. So that should give us loads and loads of strength. We should be fine. If this breaks, I will you can call me an architect. Let's put it that way. I'm very confident this will work. Um it's just whether the car will land on its wheels. I hate you. What? Why? Just... Argh. Anyway, just for banter, I've replaced that bit of the muscle with road just to see. Oh, I mean, we got across. It, <laughs> it annihilated the bridge. I need I need to fix that. All right, fine. We'll add another bit of road. So now, even if it does land upside down, it will land on the flag. Boosh. Oh, okay. Hydraulic levels, man. I don't get on with them. 14,500. I imagine we're not going to be on the first page. No. Oh, to be fair. To be fair. Uh, to be fair. To be fair. Oh, to be fair. We're only just in the bottom half. Um, looks like everyone on this page as well, they did it the proper way. They used the platform in the middle. Although actually that person, this person did similar to me, I think. Oh, they did a drawbridge on the end. That's quite cool. Anyway, cheapest solution is this. So yeah, just very, very efficient drawbridge. And that, yeah, you literally drive over the taxi. You don't need to put road on it. Just use the, use the taxi as the road. And this one's surprisingly cheap considering there's a lot of road there. But yeah, again, it's, you got to make use of the platform. It's why it's there, Matt. It's why it's there. Anyway, final page. Did anyone have fun on this one? Oh, look at that. Architects love knob. <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> I like this person. Kedimos. I like it. Uh, Joseph. Oh, he's done a nice heart. That's nice. This one. What is this? What is going on in there? I can't even see what that is. Oh, is that RC? I think it says RCE. Nice. This one definitely says RCE. And we've also, we have some efficient engineering on the bridge on the left. Uh, there's also, there's lots of cable going on here. Um, but yeah, that seems to work very well. Nice one. This one, we've got bold RCE. Uh, no italics yet, it seems. Uh, what is this? <laughs> is this carnage or is this clever? Oh, it's clever. It's clever. Okay. I can never tell like when I look at hydraulic bridges, if it's like a mess like I've done, that's been trial and error, or if it's actually genius. This one again, not too... Conv I'm still not convinced what it is after watching it either. Um, and then this one... <laughs> Oh, I hate that people can, like, put that much efficient engineering into a design. Um, and I, I can barely scrape through. So, fair play. Decent work. Next time, we're on ups and downs. And there's a lot of hydraulics to happen here. So, I cannot do that today. I'll have to do some training Rocky style. <laughs> But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Boost the like button if you did. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace, love, and architects love knob. Bye!